Alright, it's another segment. We here at Radio to Paul Wild Ones home down with Shotground.com. We got none other than the legendary tracks, man. What's good with you, man? Chilling, chilling, you know what I'm saying? Doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Not cursing because it's a clean show. <laughs> <laughs> well, we appreciate that. We appreciate that. Man, let me just jump into the interview, man. You've done a lot, like from Twister to the everybody, like legend stuff that we still listen to today that, that has been done in the 90s and the past and since then. What defines a uh, tracks to sound? What defines a tracks to be? Um, emotion, I think, would be the best word to describe it. <clears throat> like, um, a lot of times when I make beats, well, a lot of times when people make beats, they emulate um, what's popular at that time. Um, try to conform to uh, whatever trend is popular. And I'm more, uh, when, I, when I make a beat, I try to just make, make whatever comes to mind, whatever I feel. If I'm feeling something that's trendy, then I will incorporate it. But mo nine times out of ten, um, I just do something that, that feels good to, to me, you know what I'm saying? And more descriptive, you know, my music tends to have a darker tone to it, you know what I'm saying? A, a little deeper sound, chorus, cho uh, choirs and strings and, 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 and you know, wickedness to it. You know what I'm so that I think between those two things it really defines and tracks to be. Okay, now let me ask you this. Um Twister heard the new Get It Wet uh, Get It Wet Part Two. What made you and Twister want to go back and bring that one back out and kind of invent a part two to it? Well, um actually uh me and another, this writer, her name is Erica. Um we were actually working on that song before Twister came uh to Atlanta. We recorded it in Atlanta, uh in my studio in Atlanta. And um we actually were just trying to envision uh refamiliarizing this last 10 years worth of new rap listeners with Twister. Mm -hmm. So we knew that Get It Wet was one of his staple songs and we wanted to bring that sound back for him because everybody um, comments prior to that song and you know right now it's buzzing or whatever but everybody was saying well Twister doesn't really sound the same. Um, we want that classic Twister so that was really what made us bring it back. When he heard it um, you know, it was undeniable for him, so he just went in there and did his thing, and um, you know, it came out real good. I'm, I'm glad a lot, a lot of people like it right now. Uh, do you have any other credits on that album? Uh, on this album that's coming up? Yeah, actually, the funny thing is, uh, I already had two songs on the album. Uh, at one point, I was planning on doing the whole album, mm -hmm. but you know, Twister has a mind of his own, so he started working with a lot of different producers. But after Weta dropped and he started reading the the, 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 the blogs and the fan mail, he called me last night actually and was like, uh, "I'm not a fool. I'm <laughs> there and we're gonna finish the record." So I'm not exactly sure how many I'll have on there. I have two. Uh, I'll probably do another eight. So I, you know, be, it'll be room for the other songs that's on there, but the bulk of the album I'll do. Okay, so do you already have a vision for it or how you want it to go or like it kind of? I mean, I'm just gonna jack, that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to jack, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, I really want it to be, I gotta live up to that, to that, to that expectation, you know what I'm saying? And um, me and him working together, people have high expectations and I, and I just wanna live up to it. So I, that's what my vision for it is. It's like some of the most incredible beats I could possibly make. Definitely, we definitely know that you are capable of putting together classics. Now, what has been the favorite uh, song slash project that you worked on? Uh, ever? Yeah, since you since you've been in it. Uh, that's rough. I, I I really can't pick one project to say it's my favorite. It, it depends on what criteria we're talking about. Which is my favorite because I made the most money. <laughs> it would be probably Mariah's uh, the song I did on Mariah, but. Um, at the time that I was working on some of those older projects, Psychodrama, Do It, Die, Twister, <clears throat> Snipers, I was doing all those records at the same time. So in my mind, that's just one big project. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I really can't choose which one of those, you know. And then, you know, every project has its pain, too. You know what I'm saying? Um, Do It, Die, went to rap a lot, Twister, and me had our, our beefs, you know what I'm saying? So, you know. It's really no favorite. I, I'm just happy that people appreciate the music and allow me to, um, you know what I'm saying, continue to make it. Uh, by the way, this is my man downtown. This is Ike the Don. 
we just left the studio. Okay. Yeah, I know everybody wondering why who you know <laughs> who's the goons behind, but <laughs> this is these, these my niggas. Uh, well, <laughs> we, we can we can work with that. Um, now, what's the newest project? I know you said you're working on Twist Book. Besides that, are there any uh, new projects that you can touch on that uh, you're working on? Yeah, me and Luda are working on a project, um, which is uh, Battle of the Sexes. It's him and Shana. Uh, I just gave him a joint that I think may be the single. So, you know, I'm trying to have a, uh, one of them years this year. <laughs> so, you know, Twist the single and then the Luda single. Um, I'm working on new tracks to record, The Threat of Violence. Um, I'm working on a whole bunch of joints for, for you know this year. My plan was to do 12 albums this year. Because you know what, I make three beats a day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 30 days in a month, that's 90 beats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I can do an album a month. You know what I'm saying? So that's what my goal is. Y'all heard me say it, now I gotta stick to it. So <laughs> between today and this time next year, there's gotta be 12 of them. Okay. And, and you can keep up with them, all you gotta do is visit uh, www.cwallmob.com, which is uh, our site and um, it's an online community. So, you know, if you got music you want me to hear, that's like my office now. So, okay. anybody wanna get at me, anybody wanna find out what's going on, that's where you go. Okay, now let me ask you this. Uh, with you having so much experience, what would be one piece of advice that you can give to a new producer coming out in the game? Uh, be yourself. Um, when you go into a meeting with uh, an artist <clears throat> and you play the joints that you think they're going to like because you have emulated Timbaland or Kanye or Traxter, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Those aren't the joints that they're gonna, gonna feel, you know what I'm saying? Because if they wanted that, they can get them from those individuals. You gotta be yourself, come with something, ori something original, and then people will feel it, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, more than any of the business stuff, any of that, because it all starts from um, you being unique um, to excelling in, in this business. So I, I would say, you know, my one thing that I would say to them is, is, is be, um, original, you know what I'm saying? Be yourself, come with something, you know, do things that you've never seen done before, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, all the other stuff will fall in place. You get money, you know, you'll go through your ups and downs and all that's just natural, but you gotta start with the, 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 the talent. Okay. Now, we ain't gonna hold you no more. You know, we probably got a lot to do. Probably gotta knock out the other two beats for the day. So, <laughs> we ain't gonna hold you. We got a lighthearted question tonight, music related, it's a traditional wild one. So, here it go. If you was trapped on a desert island, what would be five things you have to bring with you and why? Uh, wow. <laughs> I would bring. Uh, a woman. <laughs> I don't think I have to say why. <laughs> why? <laughs> um, I would bring my computer and a generator. Okay. A, no, a solar generator. Because I, <laughs> I need to be made, able to make beats. <laughs> okay. Or I'll go crazy. <laughs> um, so that's, we're going to count that as one. And that's, <laughs> that's two of them. Um, I would want to bring pictures of my family. Um, a pen and a, and a piece of paper. I mean, a pe pen and a pad so that I could leave something behind. Mm -hmm. And I got a woman. <laughs> did, I say, did I say one? <laughs> Might want another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, what can they do? <laughs> um, let me see. That last thing I, I would say, I would need something like a, a bunch of encyclopedias or books or something. Like I, I need brain food all the time. So I, I need something to keep me intellectually stimulated or. Okay. I'll probably start swinging off the trees. <laughs> I'm some type of monkey or something, you know. So, definitely. That, those would be my five things. Man, I'm trapped on the desert island, right? 
and now I don't really need nothing, man, much. A pad and a pen, and I'm gonna use the rest of my four on women. I mean, if it's just me, <laughs> if it's just me and four bras and we stuck, I mean, you know, we might as well just have a ball. <laughs> you know? As long as I can write me some rhymes and I got some women, that's motivation for the rhymes. I'm ready to go. Four women. Four up. Uh, four women and you on the island. Like, and me. Okay, you don't understand what them four. We definitely appreciate the interview, Shotground.com, Radio DePaul. We oh yeah, and before we leave, this is Dan Tanner and this is Ike the Don. <laughs> What up, this is the legendary Trackster. I want to say what's up to my homeboys at shotground.com. Thanks for holding me down, holding us down, holding Chicago down.